Hi, Nelly. It's so great to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> it's now been, I think, a year since you finished VCE with us. How did you actually come to do VCE at Chisholm? Um, actually, my mum had looked into it for my older brother because uh, he had done the year 10 equivalent at Chisholm. And I never was a big, big fan of high school. I was never a big fan of school in general. And so my mum was just always like, hey, if you ever need it, this option is available. Like, I'm not saying you will, but it's here. Um, oh. So always keep that in mind. And I always did. And then eventually I just took advantage of it. And how did you find um, when you first wanted to find out about information or get in touch with us, did you find it quite easy dealing with the department? Yeah, it was really, it was actually really, really easy. Um, Like I am just generally a very stressed out person all (laughs) of the time. So, you know, trying to go from that transition from like high school to Chisholm was very stressful. Um, And so getting in touch with people, like getting in touch with like the coordinators and everything was like really, really easy. Um, Basically would respond to emails like super quickly, answered my million and six questions that I had, Mm -hmm. like, um, like, am I going to fail? How am I going to transfer my units? Like all of this sort of stuff. And they were just super onto it. Um, So yeah, it was actually really, really easy and just made the process super simple. When you started your course and you spent two years with us completing your VCE, what were some of the differences that you noticed or the things that you really enjoyed during your two years? Um, the structure was like obviously the biggest thing. Like you go from high school, which is nine to three every single day, five days a week. Um, but then at Chisholm, it's like your classes are like three to half, three and a half hours to four hours a day. And you do each class once a week. And that just made it so much easier because like, I wasn't going from class to class and like it gave me I wasn't at school all day every day and then coming home and doing homework and all of that sort of stuff so it gave me a lot more freedom to sort of do like what I wanted to do around VCE um and then I just felt like like you call the teachers by their first names it's sort of like Mrs and Mr and whatnot mm-hmm. um and it's just like you come to tourism and you're like treated like an adult you're not treated like just another student that's going to leave in a year and they don't actually care about you. Like the teachers actually really, really care about you and really want you to do well, Um, which is like a very big thing that I noticed. So as a person that got 93.75, is that right? 93.3. 93.3 for your VCE in remote learning, mind you. What are some of the... I guess, misconceptions that people think about when they go, you're doing VCE at TAFE. What did you find that you learned wasn't the case? Well, one thing that I heard once, I was talking to someone about it and he he went to the same high school that I did and he was having very similar issues to what I was having. And I was like, yeah, like, look at, look at Chisholm, like, you know, that's what I'm doing. And he was like, oh, but you don't get an ATAR there. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, you do. <laughs> I was like it'd be very weird if I just did all of this and didn't get an HR at the end um so that's one thing I heard that I did not even realize was a thing um but when I actually was like going to leave the um the careers coordinator at my high school um had a chat with me and he was like look you know TAFE they just don't get as good as scores like Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, that doesn't matter. <laughs> like, I'm not previous scores. Like, I can do as well as I want to do, mm. you know? And so I think it's just assumed that, like, you just automatically aren't going to do well if you go there, which is just not true. Mm. Like, it's the exact same thing as high school. It's like, if you want to do well, then you have the opportunity to do that. If mm. you don't want to do well, then it's fine. Um, so that was a very big thing as well. I guess on the bat of that, you did so well. Mm. Um, where can you tell us that you've ended up? Well, I'm at Melbourne Uni now, um, which is my number one preference. Got into mm. that course that I wanted to get into. I'm doing a double major of arts, no, double arts major of psychology and criminology. Um, I have moved out of home. 
mm. moved out just before I turned 18. So I'm actually living on student, in student housing in Melbourne. Um, and I'm also a VC psych tutor now. I work for an organisation that supports uh, students in underrepresented schools and in regional areas. And so we offer free tutoring programs to them. So I'm a psych tutor. So as a person that has enjoyed it, had really great um, outcomes, has shown that anything is possible at TAFE BCE, what's your advice for students thinking about coming to Chisholm to complete their BCE? I think just don't listen to other people. Like no matter what you do in life, there's always going to be someone that tells you, that gives you like a million reasons to not do it. Mm. And at the end of the day, like you're the only person that can decide what's best for you. I left high school for my mental health um, mm. and to do what worked best for me. And it like was the best decision I ever made. I don't know where I would have ended up if I had have kept going through the high school system. Mm. But I think just giving it a shot, just not listening to what other people are going to tell you, um, not like giving into criticisms and all of that sort of thing, like just again, as I said, like, you are not anyone else's previous scores. Like, you are yourself and you can do as well as you want to do, mm. um, especially at TAFE. And you'll be, like, you'll be treated as a human being and as an adult. Mm. And you have those opportunities to do super well. So just take advantage of it, honestly. And Nelly, you are a great example of the success that is possible and that anything is possible coming to Chisholm and completing your VCE here. Thank you.